One coin financially holds together 17 countries across Europe. But without a second bailout plan, Greece's severe financial crisis could put an end to the euro. ING senior economist Karsten Brezky says politicians have been slow to come up with a bailout package. All strategies applied did not really avoid contagion. We look at Italy, look at, at spreads in, in, in Spain, so the, the spreads are going up. Um, calm has not been restored on financial markets. Brussels resident and owner of Hellas Greek restaurant Evangelos Sakardias moved from Greece more than 30 years ago. In Greece, it's not good. Being Greek, it's hard for me to see what's happening in Greece right now. The second bailout plan comes after last year's 110 billion euro package was not enough. Greek Prime Minister Georgios Papandreou passed tough austerity measures to get the EU support. But Parliament's vote triggered two days of violent rioting. Police fired tear gas to control thousands of protesters as they marched down the streets of Athens. There are a lot of demonstrations. Every two or three days, buses and taxis go on strike. It's very sad for Greece. Brezky says only fixing Greece's financial problem will not solve the euro crisis. A second package for Greece is good, will buy time again, but if this package includes the private sector involvement and therefore some kind of debt restructuring, bond buyback, not whatsoever, um, then the rules have to be so clear that they can also be applied to other countries. EU leaders are meeting on Thursday to try to come up with a second bailout package and help the country avoid bankruptcy. Greece's fate and the future of a 17-country union now lies in the hands of EU leaders. Kim Zainange, Reuters.